on those guys. For my champion piece, I always pick Raiden. You get two of them. And for the sorcerer, see the sorcerer pieces, you get two of them. These pieces, you don't want to move around at all because if they die, you can't cast any spells. All right, so I, it doesn't really matter who you pick for the sorcerer because really, you're not going to be using them at all. You know what I mean? Only in defense, you know? So I just pick Scorpion for the sorcerer. Shifter, I pick Zombie Liu Kang. And for the grunt, I always go Nightwolf. No, we don't want to save this to a profile. You can if you want. So here we go. This is what it looks like. And it appears that we are on the Deadpool stage, which is pretty cool. So before you even get started, you have to set a trap. I believe you only get one. I think, because... So you can press the circle button, and that's like a trap. Your opponent where you're setting it, but when you want to really set the trap, press square. So I'm going to put it here. There we go. And basically, if your opponent goes onto that square, they will die instantly. So this is it. This is chess combat. Have a look at it. Awesome. It looks great. So here you go. I've got my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight night wolf pieces in the front. They're my grunts, or you can think of them as the pawns. I've got oh fuck, I've got to make a move. <laughs> Didn't realise I was under time limit here. Fucking bullshit. Okay, so I just moved him forward too. Now Okay, and here we go, we've got the shifters, which are basically the zombie Liu Kangs. You get three of them, and I've got the Sorcerer's Scorpion, two Scorpions, one has flames, and this one here has these glowing blue orbs. I will explain the differences between them a bit later, and we've got the two Raidens here, my champions, and of course my king, the leader here, Noob Smoke. So, oh, how weird is this? I've got a lot of time to make a move now. I don't know what the hell is going on, maybe because I'm moving this around. So the shifters, which are basically my zombie Liu Kangs, they can move about five squares forward, back, and diagonally. Alright, let's go on here. Basically, you can see on the chessboard there are two green sort of, I don't know, what do you call them, plates that you can stand on, okay? I've just moved Nightwolf onto that one there. Basically what that does is, that will give your entire team a health bonus. Alright, so as you can see, they don't have full health, except for the champions, Raidens. So every piece has different health. Alright, so the champions always have full health, the leader has 80% health, the shifters have 50% health, your sorcerers are the weakest, they only have 30% health, and your grunts have 40% health. Now, by going onto these green glowing plates here, like I said, that gives your team a health bonus. So, if I... Oh, fucking hell, I'm going to make another move here. All right. Let's see what the AI does. Nothing too crazy. Good. Okay, so, you're probably thinking, well, what's the point of having health? I mean... You know, in normal chess, if you move to the position of another player, your opponent, their piece, you just take them. Wrong. In Mortal Kombat chess here, you have to fight. You go into like a versus mode battle, and whoever wins the fight takes that square. So, if you are amazing at playing versus mode here, you know, you know just Mortal Kombat fighting, you'll probably win chess all the time, you know what I mean? Even with shitty health. But... It's really in your best interests to get these glowing green plates and take both of them. Because, like I said, if you can go on one of them, that will give your entire team a health bonus of 25%. And if you go on another one, that's another 25%. So that's 50% right there. And whatever piece is standing on one of those green 
blowing plates, then they will get a 100% health bonus. Okay, here we go. The computer's using a spell. That was like that. Oh, no, I don't like it. They just transported one of my grunts up there. And that, that Melina is, is the Melina, the shifter. I think so, yeah, they've got three of them. Okay, so if you press L1, you've got spells, alright? Now you can see spells up the first four, and then red for the other four. Now, the blue spells are controlled by this sort here, the scorpion. And the red spells are controlled by this scorpion here. Right, right, with the flame. Same with the sorceresses. So, you know, for example, if I want this, this here, then, then those red spells, you know, I wouldn't be able to ask them. Alright, right, I've got to make a move here. I'm just going to kill this, this Melina shifter. So you see the shifter, it sort of just transforms into the opponent they face. So, and look at that, you see all the health bonuses? I got two 25% health bonuses. Oh, two of my pieces are standing, you know, on those green plates. And also, if you're the one that goes ahead and initiates the, oh, hang on, let me pause this. If you are the attacking piece, so to speak, you know, if you're the one that moves onto the square of your opponent and initiates the fight, you will get a 10% health bonus. Pretty, pretty much start. I mean, I'm a champion piece, you know what I mean? I'm a Raiden. So I start my fight with 100% health. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But I have to win this fight here. So you see, I don't really know. No, no, don't, 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 don't. Get, get away from me. should go over between fights. Okay, should be able to win this quite easily here. Goodness. Look at this AI fucking ducking bullshit. Get the fucking thing! Take it! Take it! Take the thing! <clears throat> Get it out. And there you go. Oh, look at that Shang Tsung standing up there. I never even noticed that before. It's quite rare to actually play on the Deadpool stage in this game, especially for chess combat. About 10 minutes of this prior to doing this playthrough, and I never once fought on the Deadpool stage. Okay, so where was I in explaining? You know, there's so much to explain in chess combat. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and resurrect. You can actually resurrect one piece. And of course I need Raiden back. Let's put him. I mean you can end this game really quickly, you know what I mean? You've got a teleport spell. So almost at the start of the game, you could pay, you, you know you could basically teleport a piece to here, for example, kill this champion, and then 